In this module, I will show you how to configure scheduled scans. Semantic Endpoint Protection provides three scan policies, a balanced, a high security and high performance. So you can use these as a template to create your virus and spyware policy. Or you can create one with your own customized settings. You might want to modify these options to increase security but it is worth noting, however, if you increase the protection on your client computers by modifying these options, you might affect the client computer performance. Let us go to our policy page and select virus and spyware policy. Here we can see the pre-created policies. We could edit these settings. But let us create a new one. We should give it a name. And then we can go in to amend the administrator defined scan settings. Here we can see a daily scheduled scan has already been created. Let us edit it. The daily scheduled scan is due to run at half past midnight each day and runs an active scan. We may wish to change that. We could change it to be a full scan, where it scans all files and all folders. This is recommended to be run after the installation of the set client and when attempting to remove active or potential threat. Other than that, the active scan should be sufficient to run alongside AutoProtect to secure the client computers. We could choose certain file types. We can choose to scan all the files or maybe only selected extensions. We could choose to scan well-known virus and security risk locations. And on the advanced scanning options, we can select whether to scan inside compressed files. Here it's currently set to a level of three. We can also configure Insight Lookup. Insight Lookup enables to make use of the reputation data that has been gathered by Symantec and the Symantec community. The default is enabled and set to a minimum level. This will block only files that are highly likely to be malicious and the false positive detection is extremely low. We can see the action that will be taken if a malicious file is detected. We can amend the schedule of when this scan will run. Currently it's set to daily at 30 minutes past midnight. This may not be suitable for your environment. You may wish to change the time. We can choose the scan duration. Maybe you wish to scan it only for a specific number of hours, in this case set to two or until it finishes completely. What to do if the system misses the scan? In other words, it will retry within the 72 hour window once the system comes online. We can change the default actions when malware or security risks are found. Currently, malware is a first action to try and clean it. If that action fails, then it will be quarantined. For security risks, quarantine is the first option and leave alone and log only is the second option. We could choose to display a notification message on the infected computer warning the user. We can use these variables so the user can pass on the information necessary to the IT support team.
So we have created our daily scheduled scan. We could add another if you wish to run it at a different time or with different settings. We can also review the default settings for our protection technologies. Here we have Auto Protect. It is recommended that Auto Protect is enabled, and I will click the padlock to lock it down to prevent the users from disabling this feature. I can review the download protection defaults and check that sonar is enabled. We can also set up email auto-protect. This is for internet email. Again, we can choose which files can be scanned, all or only specific extensions, and to what level of compression it should go to. We also have the actions and the notification option. For Outlook Auto Protect, we can also do the same. Scan all files or selected extensions, what level of compression, the actions, and the notifications are very similar as before. Under the global scan options, we can enable insight and choose whose reputation information we wish to trust. In this case, we're saying Symantec and the community trusted, as opposed to just Symantec. We can also enable Bloodhound. Bloodhound isolates and locates the logical regions of a file to detect a high percentage of unknown viruses. It will then analyze the program logic for virus-like behavior. And you can specify the sensitivity for detection. For the Mac settings, we also can define the administrator defined scans and also auto protect. We've now created that policy. We could assign it to one of our groups or we could just leave it for assigning later on. There's our new laptops virus spyware protection policy created. And this brings us to the end of that module.